There are SSDs which are cool and then there are SSDs which are hot. Not this hot, this hot. Hey everyone, Mukul here. Well, coming straight to the point as literally no one is paying me anything to make a longer video this time or any other time. Well, I use the Samsung Evo 970 Plus M.2 1TB SSD as my primary storage drive. And it's one of those drives which is both famous and infamous. Famous because of its performance and infamous because of its terrible thermals. My Asus Tuff X570 motherboard did come with an M.2 SSD heatsink in one of its M.2 slots, but it never really kept the drive cool enough for my liking as I generally like cooler stuff as compared to hotter stuff, uh, especially climates. For some reason it didn't work and I wasn't sure if it was because of the reason that the motherboard's heatsink was just not able to come in good contact with the controller and memory chips on the M.2 drive or maybe just because of the reason that the motherboard's uh, M.2 heatsink was nothing but total poop. So after going through a lot of budget heat sinks, uh, especially the non-RGB ones, as I really didn't fancy the idea of adding more heat generating elements over the top of a drive that is already very hot, so I ended up choosing this Johnsbo M.2 drive heat sink. With the heat sink came two thin and two thick layers of thermal pads, which made the total number of thermal pads supplied to be four, and I hope you enjoyed the free math lesson. A metal tray and a not so bad looking sharply edged heat sink and a nicely laid out sheet of manual suggesting which thermal pads to use for the infamous Samsung 970 EVO Plus. And at this moment, I was pretty happy to see my drive's name uh, specifically written on the sheet of paper uh, because it made me feel that if they have done their research and if they know that this drive is pretty hot anyway, then this heatsink should most definitely work. Putting the drive sandwich between the different parts of the heatsink was pretty easy. I made sure to first check if both the thick thermal pads or any other combination could work for the Samsung 970 EVO Plus. And I did this first without peeling their protective film. But in the end, that one sheet of manual was right and a combination of a thin and a thick layer thermal pad worked for the 970 EVO Plus. So the thin thermal pad went on the middle tray and then the thick layered pad went under the heatsink. And then I just clipped the heatsink at the end like this. And so as a result, we got a good looking metal sandwich. Well, this almost made me feel hungry as it definitely looked delicious for the microchips in my head. Anyway, I was pretty excited to see if there was any improvement in the temperatures of the drive. But like the motherboard sad heatsink, uh, the Johnsbo heatsink disappointed me too. As you can see, there was hardly any difference in the thermal performance of the Samsung Evo 970 Plus, And this made me feel like there's literally nothing to make this hot drive run cool. But this was until I realized that I have the power to research and so I researched more and then I found this one Amazon review which suggested that the thin thermal pad should go under the heatsink and the thicker pad should go over the tray. Um, well, to be honest, this made truly no sense but I was like, meh, why not let's try it. And voila, the results were again disappointing and there was hardly any thermal improvements on the Samsung 970 EVO Plus. But there was still one more trick left up my sleeve as I had made sure to order from a listing that allows me to return the heatsink. So that's what I did and by the end saved my precious money. And I said trick because I firmly believe that getting refunds over stuff that does not work is a pretty good trick too. So yeah, if a heatsink that had such precise instructions for the Samsung EVO 970 Plus, well, if that couldn't cool uh, the drive down, then I really don't want to try my luck with uh, the more expensive heatsinks out there. As in my opinion, an M.2 drive heatsink shouldn't need to be ultra expensive in the first place. It's just a metal block that is supposed to dissipate the heat from a drive and hence help it cool the f*** down. So you have a simple job, just do a good job. But I guess more than this bloody red heatsink, uh, it's the EVO 970 Plus which is at fault here as there's literally nothing wrong with how this specific heatsink has been built, especially for its price. So if you have any other M.2 drive and you want to try your luck with this heatsink, I will make sure to post its affiliate links in the description below. You can also hop onto our Discord server for more chit chat on relevant content. Stay safe humans, that's all for today. MewBot with a hot Samsung Evo 970 Plus out. I think I repeated the name way too many times.